So what is going on guys? Real Touch Gmail here back with another tutorial with our Java game development series here. And we left off doing pretty good actually. We've got our ticks and our FPS counter here. And right now we just have a blank uh, black screen here. I don't know what that is. Uh, and we got our title, everything. Everything's working good. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to start loading in sprite sheets. And uh, you know started getting our images in there so right off the bat I'm gonna use Photoshop for this um, um, you can use paint.net I don't think there's a grid maker though I'm not sure but uh, yeah so I'm gonna show you how to make a sprite sheet in Photoshop if you don't have Photoshop mm, you can you can get paint.net um, but uh, obviously uh, you have to look up how to make grids yourself with that uh, which is not difficult I'm sure you can you can get it uh, so uh, let me just exit this out here so I'm gonna make a new uh, just a new file here and it's gonna be 32 by 32 and this is going to be the amount of pixels um, uh, you know our this is going to be each sprite is going to be 32 by 32. So we're going to when we grab our sprite, we're going to measure it by 32 by 32. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so what I'm going to use here is I'm just going to fill it with a with a grayish color, and then uh, with a I'm going to just darken the color up. And we'll use this here. So right there, that's gonna be our sprite sheet. Um, so yeah, uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to edit. Once you've got that done, we're gonna go to edit, define pattern. You can just name this uh, YouTube. YouTube. There we are. And we're gonna create new. And I'm gonna make this sprite sheet 256 by 256. And what I'm going to do in here is unlock the background, or you could just make a new layer on top of it. And I'm going to say pattern overlay. And in here, I am going to check my, um, yeah, our, yeah, right here, 30, uh, YouTube, 32 by 32 pixels RGB mode. So after you've done that, we now have our sprite sheet. This is a little bit of a small sprite sheet, but uh, you get the point. You can obviously make bigger. Uh, you know files for it if you'd like so uh, that's how you make the sprite sheet no uh, and right now we're just going to make a spaceship <laughs> uh, I'm gonna attempt to make a spaceship I can just zoom in here uh, I am not good at making Let me zoom out at making stuff so bear with me here um, yeah I can uh, I'm gonna zoom up this part or I'm gonna you know start our uh, what am I trying to, I'm gonna fast forward this part I'll be right back okay uh, I am back this is my spaceship as I told you before I am not too good at making art or drawing art out you just put a little bit of glare in that window there uh, so yeah I know my art's sexy but you know that's that's about as good as it's gonna get so after you've done that, what we're actually going to be doing is, uh, we can go ahead and save this here because I hate working in Photoshop. I'm going to save this just to my desktop. And I'm just going to name it Sprite Sheets. And we will give it PNG file. I'm going to name it Sprite underscore sheet. Okay. I can, I'm going to exit out of Photoshop here. Exit out of my code. Uh, where is it? Sprite sheets. Oh, there's a lot of sprite sheets. Oh, all right. This is the this is the right one. So I'm gonna whoa. I'm gonna open it with Paint.net because I actually like Paint.net a lot better than Photoshop. Don't ask me why. I just do. I think it's a lot easier to use. Although Photoshop may be more effective, I just think you know it's easier to use. So I'm gonna zoom in here crap out of here and I am going to get my magic wand tool and just delete everything delete 
that. Delete that. There we go. So that is, you know, you obviously want to make it transparent. So that is what we've got. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Save as. And I am going to go into our workspace, space game, into our res folder, and just save it there. So sprite sheet. That's OK. Now when you go back into Eclipse, and you go to your res folder and press F5, or I'm sorry, just redo the project here. Uh, go on the project and press F5. You'll see that in your res folder, you now have this sprite, sprite sheet here. Uh, so now we can actually start making the sprite sheet. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a class that is actually going to load in buffered images. So I'm going to call it buffered image loader. And what we're going to do here is we are going to create a new private buffered image. And we're just going to call it image. And go ahead and import buffered image in there. And what I'm going to say is I'm going to create a new method. I'm going to call it public void um, no actually buffered image and I'm just gonna name it load image and I'm going to take in a string here path so this is going to be the path at which we our sprite sheet is held so in here now what we will say is image equals image IO dot read get class dot get resource um, path and then we will return the image and we can throw is the declaration there IO exception we can throw the IO exception yeah that's fine or you can put a try and catch it really does not matter so I'm gonna save this and we're going to create another class, and this is going to be called Sprite Sheet. So Sprite Sheet. So we made this class just to load in our buffered images. I just letting you guys know that. So with our Sprite Sheet, we are going to create another private buffered image. We'll call it image again. And what we're going to do here is in the constructor public Sprite Sheet. We're going to name buffered image ss, and we can say uh, this dot image equals ss. So we can just call this image actually. Ss stands for sprite sheet, but I guess I can just call it image. So now we're going to create one more method in here that's going to return a buffered image. So we need to say public buffered image, uh, and this is going to be grab image, and this is grabbing and cropping out our actual sprite sheet. So I'm going to put an integer of the column, an integer of the row, an integer of the width, and an integer of the height. Right, And we're going to be doing a little bit of math here, but it's nothing too bad. So we're going to create a new buffered image. I'm just going to call it you know, IMG, so since we're already, we are already using image. And it's going to equal um, sprite.get. I'm sorry, what am I doing? Image dot get sub image. Uh, and we're gonna say column there we can column times thirty-two minus thirty-two. And I'll explain this in a second. And row times thirty-two row minus thirty-two. And then this would be our width. And this would be our height. And then we can just return the image. All right. So if I explain this here, um, what we're doing is we are going to set it equal to, you know, getting when we say a, a new buffered image, we're we're going to say we're going to call this grab image here. And this call equals column, and row row. So if I open this up here, as you can see. Uh, this would be um, row one and column one, obviously. So what we have to do, all we have to do is say grab image. Like, don't do this. I'm just showing as an example. Uh, if we wanted the uh, column one, row one, we would do one one, thirty two and thirty two because thirty two by thirty two, that's the width of what we want. 
So we can actually do this now. I'm just going to go ahead and so all right, I can explain the math. We're going to do column times 32 minus 32 because here, if you put if I open up the calculator here, <clears throat> what we're going to do here is say we type in 1. I'm just going to do 1 times 32 minus 32, which is going to be 0. If we type in 2, it's going to be 2 times 32 minus 32, which will be 32. So this is the starting point. Think of this as the x. The or, um, yeah, the x. This would be the starting point. So if we just did this, then we would have to say negative. If we took this out, you'd have to say negative 1 to get our first one. So I hope that makes sense. If not, I can explain it more in the comments. Just go ahead and put it down. But now what we're going to do here is in our game, we're going to create a new buffered image. Just put this down here, private buffered image. You can call it sprite sheet. And it's going to equal null for now. And in our, we're going to create a new method in it, stands for initialize. And right um, on top of this run here, I'm just going to call it init. Because this will be called after all this is, you know, or uh, the start is, you know, the threads have started and everything. Now we're ready to go. So what we're going to say here is um, we're going to create a new instance of the buffered image loader. If you remember, just call it loader. Whoa, equals new buffered image loader. And go ahead and import that. Or I'm sorry, it's in the same package. We don't need to. And we're going to put it in a try and catch statement here. If you don't know what a try and catch statement is, basically. All it is is it says, okay, try to do this. If it does not work, then catch, which in e.printStackTrace just gives us an error report, basically. Uh, and we're getting an error here because we have nothing in our try uh, uh, statement here. So what we're going to say is sprite sheet. Um, sprite sheet equals loader dot oh whoa I spelled loader wrong up here my bad so loader dot load image and this is where we're gonna put the path in so we're, I'm gonna say slash sprite sheets dot png so basically if it does not find this file and cannot load it it's gonna give you an error report that's all it really is Okay, so now we've actually loaded it up. We're ready to go. We are ready to actually start, and let's go and play it now, make sure we get no errors. There we are. So we get no errors, that means it's successfully loaded up our sprite sheet. Uh, if you get errors, let me know in the uh, comments and I'll take a look. Um, all right, so yeah, we can, we can draw something to the screen here, just temporary. So I'm gonna call it temp, just to kind of show you guys what um, you know how to load images in so I'm gonna call this player and we're gonna create a new class for this in the next tutorial but yeah player and I'm gonna say player equals um, sprite <coughs> sprite sheet uh, oh okay we need to make a new instance of our sprite sheet here so ss equals new sprite sheet and for in here, we're just going to put in sprite sheet. That may be a little confusing. So what we're doing here is sprite sheet ss equals new sprite sheet. And since we put in um, our constructor here, we need a buffered image. And this is what the it's actually going to get. We put this in here because that's what we've loaded. This buffered image is what we've loaded. So we need to put it in here. So that means we're getting it from the sprite sheet right here that we've loaded. So player equals ss dot grab image. So the column would be one, the row would be one, 32 and 32. So now we've gotten it. We go down in our render here. And I can say g dot draw image player eh, 100, 100 and this as the image observer. So now if we ran it, as you can see, we do have our spaceship at 100, 100. 
So go and leave a like, go and subscribe. I know this was a little bit of a long tutorial. I don't know if you guys like it or not. Uh, like the long tutorial of it. If you like this tutorial, then you know, leave a like, go and subscribe uh, for for more. And uh, yeah, next tutorial we'll be getting movement in, adding the space background, all that stuff. So we're starting to get into the fun stuff. So go and leave a like, go and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Peace.